you so much. Oh, I'm gonna give you the biggest hug ever and hold on to you so tight and never let go and- Wait, no. <sighs> Boundaries. Remember what they told you. Boundaries. Uh, <laughs> um, can I please give you a hug? <sighs> I really miss this. I really missed you. It's nice to talk face to face again. Y you know, without cell bars or a piece of glass separating us. Oh, those guys? Um, don't mind them. They're just gonna be following us around to make sure I don't slip back into my violent tendencies. And my therapist said that if they give a good report, I'll be allowed to see you more often in the future. Isn't that great? <laughs> Anyways, we should get down to business. Your visitation period only lasts for so long, and I gotta get my fill of my sweet little honey bun. Well, I want to hear about you. How have you been doing? Have you been seeing anyone? Because if I hear you've been talking to another person behind my back, I'm gonna... Um... <clears throat> um... <laughs> um... You... haven't been seeing anyone else. Right? <sighs> oh, thank goodness. Um... I'm sorry about... Um... I'm sorry about getting so... aggressive there. I suppose I still have a ways left to go before I'm fully reformed. Hey, um... Thanks for still being my partner after... Well, everything. I'm really, really sorry that I took it so far. I... I know I already apologized, I just... I can't believe you're willing to give me another chance. I mean, I held you hostage in your own home. Why do you want to stay with me? Yeah, I called the police on myself after I snapped out of it, but... But still, I'm just... I'm just... Not good enough for you. Thank you. Hearing you say that, it makes me feel a lot better. Although, it makes me wonder if you should be in the mental hospital too. <laughs> uh, um, <clears throat> anyways, um, can I... Can I hold your hand? <laughs> Come here. I want to show you my room. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to tug. Ta-da! Look, I know it's not much, but it's been home for the past few months. I have this nice little bed here, a little window looking out into the garden, and I even have my own bathroom. Oh yeah, my therapist suggested that I look into healthier outlets for my emotions. And that's how I discovered that I love to draw. Specifically, I love to draw you. I put them on the wall because... Um, I don't know. It makes me feel like you're watching over me, you know? Mm-hmm. This is a picture of you on our first date together. See? I remember it clear as day. You ordered the Parmesan chicken breast, which came with two sides. Green beans and mashed potatoes with gravy. Specifically white gravy. And you had a glass of tea to wash it down. Look, I even remember to draw the lemon slice you set aside on your napkin. Aw, thanks. I don't know if I'm all that good of an artist, though. I mean, I only just started doing this. But, I guess if you like it, then that's all that matters. Uh, 
Yeah, I can tell you about more of my drawings. This one shows what happened on March 14th of last year. Remember? Remember? We went shopping that day. I bought you that cute little stuffed crocodile with the button eyes. And you bought me a box of donuts. The flavors were chocolate vanilla, butternut Boston cream, cinnamon, and double super sugar twist. Of course I remember, silly. I gotta know absolutely everything about our relationship, don't I? Hmm? What do you mean under the bed? Oh, I don't think... No! Don't! Look at those. <sighs> I really didn't want you to see these drawings. No, don't apologize, Cupcake. It's, it's not your fault. I should have hid them better. Well, along with drawing the happy moments in our relationship, I also tried drawing some... Other moments. There was many, many times when I screwed up. I started drawing them because I thought it might help me vent my guilt a little bit. Hey, Angel. Can we... Can we talk about them? My therapist has been stressing the importance of sharing your feelings, so... Maybe... This would be a good opportunity for me to do that? Oh, thank you. You're so kind to me. I love you to the moon and back. And to the moon again, and back again, and again, and again, and again forever. What? Are you... Are you really proud of me? Oh, thank you so much! I... I need to give you another hug! I need... Wait, no. No, 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 no. <sighs> Remember to ask. Remember to ask. Remember to ask. Um... Um... <laughs> uh, can I give you another hug? <sighs> thank you. <clears throat> Oh, you're such a precious little snuggle muffin. My precious little snuggle muffin. Oh yeah, we should probably talk about the drawings now. <laughs> um, well, this one is from the time we ran into your ex. I remembered things you said about them. About how they made you feel. So when I saw them out in public, I... I couldn't help myself. They were hurting my cutie pie for so long. I just had to put them in their place. I was yelling and screaming at them for so long that a crowd started forming. But I didn't care, though, because I was protecting you. I made that little bitch start crying and groveling and... Um... <clears throat> um... I'm sorry... I guess I got caught up in the moment again. I know you were really upset afterwards. I... I have no excuse. I just... I just let my aggressive side take the wheel. Yeah. My therapist is working with me on that too. We're finding better ways to manage my anger, instead of taking it out on others. One thing that usually helps is screaming into a pillow. I do it a lot when I'm frustrated that I can't see you. Although, I don't have to do it as much as I used to. I'm making progress! Oh, this picture? Th that was... That was the night I kidnapped you. I... I don't remember a lot from that day. My mind was 
mostly just a swirl of obsessive and controlling thoughts. All I remember is tying you up, threatening you, and listening to you cry. I... For some reason, that... That flipped a switch in my brain. So I left the room for a while to process my thoughts. And then I dialed the police for you. I... I'm so sorry. I'm so... So, so sorry. You deserve so much better than me! <laughs> No, no, it's not okay. I was supposed to be your partner, but I, but I hurt you. You were, you were the first person to ever love me, who ever loved me, and I'm nothing more than a monster. <laughs> Another hug, please. <sighs> Thank you, sweetie. I really don't deserve you. I know you dropped the charges, but I mainly wanted to thank you for forcing me to get therapy. I only realized after I got here that I have a lot of unresolved issues. And subconsciously, I projected them onto you. I don't really know how to deal with them yet, but I'm trying my best. I'll do my very best for you. What do you mean? But... How do I do it for myself? Hmm... Maybe it'll be easier to think about it as... Doing it for us for now. And once I start getting a better handle on things, then I can start doing it for my own sake. I mean... If you'd like that. I don't really know yet myself, but my heart belongs to you. If you want it, then I want it. Why won't you give me an answer? Do you want me to or not? You know, my therapist said something similar about doing this for my own sake? I... don't really know how to do that yet. But... if both you and an expert are saying it, I guess I'll have to believe it. I'll get better for the sake of myself. Whatever that means. <sighs> Thank you, love. Thank you so, so much. That makes me really happy. Can I give you another hug? Please? <clears throat> oh, I love you from the bottom of my heart. And from there, I dug an even deeper pit so I could love you that much more. Hey, when we finally get out of here... Whenever that is. I promise, I'll give you the most care and affection I possibly can. You know, without going too far. <laughs> um, speaking of getting out of here, the first thing I want to do afterwards is cuddle you. I mean, if you also want to. Okay, I'll be looking forward to it.
What? Visitation time is over already? But... But... <sighs> okay. Okay. Okay, okay. I suppose you can't stay here forever. Well, of course I'm a little upset. Okay, a lot upset. But... But, but, but I understand that if I want to get better, I need to learn how to live for the sake of myself. It would be kind of hard to do that if you were around 24-7. It really, really hurts to say this. But I won't stop you from going. Oh, hearing you say that makes me feel all warm inside. Thank you, darling. Well, I suppose this is goodbye for now. What? A goodbye kiss? Y you're sure you want to give me one? Really? Of course I want to! <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, shit. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to keep going after you tried to pull away. I'm- I'm so sorry. P -p Please don't hate me. You promise that you're not mad? <sighs> You're right. <sighs> I'm just overreacting again. <sighs> um, can I have one more little kiss? Just one? I promise I'll control myself this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that felt amazing. Oh, I'll truly treasure this moment. I love you too. I love you so, 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 so much. Bye for now, lovely. I'll see you soon. I really, really, really love you. I love you so much, more than you could ever, ever know. More than you could ever, ever know. Oh, um, right, right. I need to let go of your hand. <laughs> um, b bye, Sweet Pea. I'll see you again really soon. I love you so, 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 so much. Thank you to all my $9 patrons for supporting this video. Aiden S. 2014, Alexander Lee, Angelic Panda, Orsalan Falati, Urisville, Brantley Wigard, Chief, D4C, Darts Z, Declan Benolm, Delboy, Draco, Dragonblood Fire X, Ellison Wilson, Ereviv, Evil Doer, Felonil W. 2011, Frank, Gavin, Isaac Coria, Jace, Joel Climaco, Jonesi, Cade, Lawbringer DK, Lex, Liam Hughes, Lone Survivor 3, Man of Many Bees, Mark Mason, Maxwell Lukier, Nick Capone, PDP, Patrick Jan Josua Davidson, Poyup, Prism, Prototype Number 13, Sean Malcolm, Sleepy Sloth, Sneedly Chuck, Sonrox, Body Dahati, Tommy, Uriel Herrera, Will, 
XX Antitrix Never Sorry 17 XX, Zach Hale, and Zivisel one Thank you all so, so much for being able to make these videos possible. It really means the world and more to me that you guys support me the way that you do. If any of you would like to support me out there, I'll leave the links to my social media down below. There you can find both my Ko-Fi and my Patreon. That way if you want to make a one-time donation, you can, and if you want to continue to support me full-time, you can also. Thank you all again so much for listening to today's audio or watching today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!